Hey guys, I'm Sean. I'm here with Tennessee Truck Driving School. Now we're going to go over how to offset back. This is if you're in one lane and they tell you to go ahead and move down a lane. Okay, so this is going to demonstrate the basic maneuvers for how to move it from one lane to the other. So we're going to start out by pulling forward out of the lane that we're in. And obviously the object when pulling forward is to try and get yourself in the best situation to back into the other lane. So obviously we want the most amount of room behind our vehicle as possible. So I'm gonna get as much room as I can get here. Now, the key to doing this is to not oversteer, because if you oversteer, it makes it real hard to get back in front of your trailer, and then you, it's really inconsistent. You have no idea where it's gonna go. So I'm gonna turn it one turn to the left, and we're gonna back up, and I'm just gonna let it start cutting a little bit, but I'm not gonna let it get out of my mirror. So now it's cutting. I'm gonna follow my trailer just to keep it in my mirror. That way I don't lose it. And then as soon as it's in front of that other hole, we're going to come back around. Like that. Now I'm going to start cutting it back the other way so we can go straight into our lane. Now I want to keep it tight to my driver's side because my passenger side is my blind side right now. I can't see it. So I want to keep it tight to my driver's side. And then as soon as I'm straight with the box, I want to get straight with my trailer and straight on the wheel. We're going to go straight in. Now, if you need to, get it in there and take a pull up to make it nice and straight. Fortunately, we are tight on the driver's side. We're straight with the driver's side. Therefore, a pull up really isn't necessary. But if it is necessary, do not be afraid to use pull ups. All right. And we're in there. We're nice and straight. Again, we're tight to our driver's side, which is what we want. And that is how to offset back. 